Hey, this is Bruce of Cantotech, and we're here to give you an update of Canon's two latest products, which is the Canon EOS 90D, which is a DSLR, and the Canon EOS M6 Mark II, which is a mirrorless camera. So, just to give you a brief update for both of this camera before we go to the highlight events on why people would like to choose this camera from our opinion leaders. So, basically, this camera, both of this camera, is processed by the image processor Digic 8 technology and both of this has a 32.5 megapixel so currently up to date only Canon has the highest megapixel count for an APS-C sensor which is at 32.5 megapixel both of this camera uses the dual pixel CMOS autofocus and in terms of still image their maximum ISO is at 25,600 for movie, the maximum ISO is at 12,800. Going to the 90D, the continuous shooting for the 90D is at 10 frames per second. The maximum shutter speed for mechanical is 1 over 8,000. And what we really like about this camera for the 90D is again, is the tiltable screen. Which means that when you're doing your own vlog, you can basically see yourself when you're shooting the video. And for the movie, so this camera can go 4K 30p for crop and 4K 25p for uncrop. And finally, Canon have been able to give the end user for the uncropped version. Now let's go to the Canon EOS M6 Mark II. So this smaller camera can actually shoot faster. So it has a maximum of 30 frames per second for raw burst shot. So for the maximum shutter speed mechanical is at 1 over 4,000 for the electronic is at 1 over 16,000 and again it has the very good tiltable screen so if you want to do the self vlogging you can easily do this and it has a external or optional viewfinder which you can buy at Canon stores and again this can shoot at 4k 30p on crop. The weight is at uh, 408 grams. Of course, it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth for both of the cameras. And is using the USB Type-C. Now, let's go straight to the event. So, we have some influencers uh, that's stating how they really like this camera for the EOS 90D and the M6 Mark II. A month ago, we released our Glogar Essential Cameras, the PowerShot G7X Mark III and the PowerShot G5X Mark II. We are happy to say that the feedback we are hearing from users are very positive. And I thank you all for supporting those two products, making it very successful. Today, I'm excited that we are updating two of our most popular units. This launch is specially, yeah, special because we take a look at how far digital camera technology has come in terms of, in terms of DSLRs and mirrorless cameras performance and how Canon strives to further innovate in its technology. These are two distinct form factors, yet both are capable of producing outstanding images and videos. And you will see today what their differences and advantages are. Ito, sige, let's simulan na natin ha. So, nakita nyo, diba, yung, yung theme natin is, ano, diba, speed and performance. And when we think about these words, usually we think about flagship, diba? Pag sinabi ng performance, medyo na hype ka eh, parang wow, galing, diba? So, this is usually what we think of, flagship performance. However, ang special dito sa dalawang modas na to, these are mid-range cameras. 
So, siguro kung, kung para mas mabilis na take away dun for, for today is ito yung Tapos yung high detail basically is megapixels and for video basically this is your bigger resolution and then basically high performance means autofocus and that's one that's just one of it kasi kailangan important yung autofocus because yep sabi natin na shoot ng 1000 frames per second yung camera mo tapos lahat 100 megapixels pero autofocus there's no use di ba so it's very important that you have this as uh, features on a camera So, what are we launching again today? So, it's the EOS 90D and the EOS M6 Mark II. So, yeah. so as mentioned a while ago, we're, we, we think of these two metal models as like, they're the flagship APS-C. When we think about APS-C, usually we think about mid-range, right? Pero when you look at the specs, actually, yung ibang specs yan, pwede nyo tayong yung ibang flagship ng, uh, ng ibang cameras. So, anong difference? Kasi sabihin nyo, masyadong pareho to me, so how do we differentiate? Number one, so yun, the LED is a DSLR. So, four-factor in itself is a very big difference. So, it's a DSLR, and it was made as a solid performing device. Basically, hindi siya, sinan, hindi siya pinawang maliit. Kasi this is something that a lot of photographers are still looking for. Yung tibay, yung, 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 yung grip, all of those things. And it was made for uh, shooting uh, objects, fast-moving objects. What about the M6? So, although pareho sila ng mga main specs, it's very important that this camera, the main push niya talaga, it's small and it's compact. And aside from that, it's stylish. Kasi makikita niya naman yung chura, diba? Para chrome, silver, diba? So, so it looks good. So, yun. And basically, that's kanina na sabi, diba? Na para paano kung ano, paano kung hindi ako masyado photography savvy? No problem. The good thing about the M6 is the controls are very, very easy to handle and then you don't need to really, really know very deep knowledge about uh, photography. Okay. So, ano ba yung mga similarities and a little bit of the differences? So, the 90D, again, sabi ko sa inyo kayo na medyo flagship level na siya kasi 3.5 megapixels. This, this megapixel count is the megapixel count of a lot of flagship cameras already. And for the APS-C uh, segment, this is the highest. So you can check it out. So for APS-C, this is the highest. Also, for DSLR, this camera, the 90D, also has a class in 10 frames per second with autofocus on the DSLR segment. So if you're looking for a DSLR na APS-C na gusto mo na pinakamabilis, ito yun. Ito yun. Although meron siyang kapareho na isa, pero medyo lumang model na. And then yun, as I mentioned, uh, as mentioned a while ago, we didn't make the 90D small. It was really made to be something solid. So it's at least, it has to have the DSLR feel. And then, so it's durable and solid. And then, as mentioned a while ago, doon sa video, it's dust proof and drip proof. And then, yun, ito yung, ito yung one of the features that a lot of DSLR users are, oh, are still looking for. So there's no lag when you look, look at the uh, optical viewfinder. Basically, dito kayo sumisilip. And then, yun. So, yun. So, videography. So, as we push onwards with hybrid shooting, with one camera, you can shoot stills, and you can also shoot video. And the good thing with the 90D, yung 4K niya, basically, no crop, and it also has autofocus. And then, yun. IAF. Medyo popular itong, ano, itong spec na to, lalo na sa Canon, kasi we just announced our firmware upgrade for their EOS R and the EOS RP. So, yun. So, for the 90D, it also has that. But the good thing about the 90D, hindi lang siya sa live view. It also has dun sa, dun sa viewfinder. Bihira kang makakita. I think wala kang ngayon sa, sa market na merong face detect dun sa optical viewfinder. But this camera has one. Okay, punta naman tayo sa M6. Sabihin natin na, yun nga, hindi naman tayo professional. Pero we want something to, sa camera that looks good but can perform. Hindi ka mamipigaw with the M6. Abuti pa, abuti pa, hindi kayo mamipigaw sa M6. <laughs> so, so, it's a class TV, 32.5 megapixels. So, it's the highest megapixel count in the APS -C segment for mirrorless as well. So, yun. so, kaya sabi natin, medyo flagship level na yung, ano, yung mga specs natin. And then, 14 frames per second. So, one of the fastest frame rates, burst rates in, in the market right now. 
And it also has autofocus. Kasi I think baka mamaya sabihin nyo, oh, it can shoot naman na 14, pero hindi naman kaya mag-autofocus. This has autofocus for that 14 frames. And then yun. So nakita nyo kanina para yung sample ng dog. Isang click lang, tapos 30 shots na yun. So ganun siya. So imagine mo, in one second, you can shoot 30 frames per second. Raw. So that is magical. That is stupendous. So, yeah, and then yeah. So what separates this from the 90 p Obviously, it's compact, lightweight, and stylish. Yeah, touchscreen control. So for example, Tony, hindi pa ako, never pa ako nakapag photography class, never pa ako nakahawak ng DSLR. Eh, gusto ko ng M6. The good thing about the M6, it's so easy to operate. So yeah, basically, it's just a point, and then you select on the screen, and then it shoots. And then similar to the 90 p it also has 4K no prop. And it also has autofocus for video shooting. So, what's your experience with the 90D so far? So, Ilan, I had fun using it. Yesterday, uh, I thought I was going to be because I've been using 5D Mark IV. That's the one we have in the wedding. But it's possible for weddings in 90D. And, Kung makita niyo yung BTS, uh, mostly of, most of the shots are handheld. And for sports, malaking bagay siya. And yung, yung slow-mo niya. And then yung, yung monitor, na pwede mong makita kahit nasa baba yung shot mo, hindi na namin kailangan dumapa. Before, pag nilagay namin yung camera namin sa sahig, kailangan dumapa rin kami sa sahig. Nandun ka rin, yeah. Ngayon, hindi, hindi na namin kailangan dumapa. So, pwede kahit nakaupo, tapos angle na lang namin yung monitor. So, napaka-gandang experience nung nahiram namin yung 90D yesterday. And, I have fun using it. So, who would you recommend the, the M6 Mark II to? Ayan, as I said, uh, from starting, from mag-start mag-video and photo to uh, I can say for professionals and pro, kasi ano eh, yung fast focus nito, yung fast focus and frames per second, I mean, better niya than other professional cameras. Eh? So, yun, sobrang real. And of course, before I let you go, meron ka bang tips or advice for the people who are aspiring photographers, sports photographers. Ayun, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, do everything uh, for the love of the game. Uh, love the game and the game with love the game. So, let's talk about in terms of equipment. When it comes to vlogging, what are the things, what are the features that you look for in the equipment that you carry? For me, uh, as a vlogger, and as so many other vloggers and content creators, we always get so carried away with um, the different types of equipment and, and a lot of people overdo it. And, and for me, the most important thing is you want to focus all your energy on creativity and what's convenient. So for me, I mean, from, from the very beginning, the, the, the first camera I ever got was the uh, 700D, so that was my first camera I was using with my vlogs. Do you remember what your first um, vlog was? Do you remember what you took with your 700D? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, I just remember going to the... It was a, it was a candy store somewhere in Glorietta. Um, yeah, I remember I bought it there, and then I just I did that whole vlog, and um, you know, since then, uh, eventually I would upgrade to the 70D, 80D, and now here I am with the 90D. But uh, that's what I've been using since the very beginning. And for me, it's just, it's it's convenient, it works, it gets the job done, and that is the most important thing. Like, there's so many, there's so many different cameras out there that you can use, but as a vlogger, this is, uh, this is what I've been using since day one, this, this series of uh, uh, types of cameras. That, and I mean, I guess what I look in is something that's durable because I'm traveling, I, I'm doing crazy stuff, I'm doing extreme stuff, you know. Yeah. I'm riding on top of jeepneys, I'm running through ice caves in Iceland. Yeah. 
And I, you probably should use something. I don't know. They always tell you like you should use an action cam or stuff that's like made for it. But this has been in rainstorms. This has been through snowstorms, and it it doesn't break on you. Like it, it is. The, Thick and thin. And I always drop it, you know, I'm very careless, I'm always running around. So, yeah, okay. I know. That's okay. I, yeah, I one, one, one thing is it's really durable. Um, and it gets the job done. The flip screen, the, like, this is so crucial, you know? As a, I don't have a cameraman, mm -hmm. mostly, so, and you have to make your stuff look cinematic. You have to set it up in different places, and yeah. it, it's so much more convenient to be able to see rather than having to go behind it and then look at that again and everything. This thing saves you so much time, and, and uh, time is the most valuable thing that we have as a content creator. Um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the basics of it. And the autofocus, especially on the 90D, is so good. The autofocus, that's what I, that's what I really like about this. All right, so what do you think is your favorite feature of the 90D? Upgrading from, of course, your fan favorite, the ATD. Yeah. Um, First off, I would say photos. They definitely, like, the photos are a lot better because um, they really, they really, you know, made the specs better. Because before, I, I really used to just use it for videos, sometimes for photos, but this one you could really use for photos. Also, I, I like the, the option that now they have 4K. Um, I mean, the perfect vlogging camera. We are, I always have been saying, I just, I, I wish I had 4K, so finally, at least now we have that option in this. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's probably my favorite thing about it. And also that you have that, the, uh, the super slow-mo, the 120 frames. So, you know, finally we can use that as well. Do you have any um, upcoming videos that we can expect that you took with the 90D? Yeah, I was. I literally just landed here from Morocco, like within the last 18 hours. So I'm still like, you know, I'm like half. I'm still half in Morocco in my mind right now. Uh, so I was just playing around with this, and um, yeah, watch out for those vlogs because those are going to be really cool. And uh, basically, from I guess here on out, 